What's up guys? Dr. Meathead here again with another Meathead Minute. Um, I was originally planning to do one specifically about the shoulder, um, but after posting a video earlier this week and getting a lot of, let's say, feedback um, about trap bar presses and training around injury in general, I think it's a good time to talk about training around injury and not just that, but the process you should go through if and when you do get hurt. And it should really be when, because if you're doing strength athletics, at some point you will get hurt. So the first step with any injury is prevention. You know, the, the best way to prevent injuries is to be prepared for the lifts that you're doing properly. Now, that entails any number of things. Some of it is, you know, movement work and stretching mobility, et cetera, what have you. Um, that's a very complex topic in and of itself with a lot of controversy, so I'm not gonna delve into that too much. Um, two, being adequately rested. Three, choosing the right weights and paying attention to what your volume is at so that you're not overdoing it and leading yourself towards injury. So prevention is the primary thing we need to do when it comes to any injury. Second is diagnosis. So you see it all the time online, people are posting different groups saying, hey, my shoulder hurts, hey, my knee hurts, this happened, what should I do? Well, the first thing you need to do is get an actual diagnosis from a healthcare professional. Whether it's an acute care physical therapist, a physician, PA, NP, athletic trainers in some cases, you need to figure out what's exactly going on before you can figure out A, how to fix it, and B, how to train around it. Um, so that's step three is, getting on a rehab protocol to fix this injury, to come back from it. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't train at all. And that's what I really wanna get into in further videos is how to train around your injuries. Because successful athletes aren't the ones that don't ever get hurt, because that's impossible. They aren't the ones that stubbornly push through injuries and ignore their aches and pains and think that that's going to get them to their ultimate goal because that's gonna get them even more hurt. It's the ones who intelligently train around their injuries and rehab them with sound evidence-based rehab protocols on the side that become successful. Small, slow progress is better than stopping your progress and going backwards because you were too stubborn or honestly because you didn't wanna ask somebody who actually knows what they're talking about versus somebody in a chat room or a forum. Are chat rooms still a thing? I don't think chat rooms are still a thing. Anyways, this is why I'm gonna be starting a set of videos about different injuries and how to train around them. Now, none of that is going to be medical advice. You need to get evaluated and treated by one of those professionals that I mentioned earlier, but it should help give some interesting exercises that you can do in different situations to help continue to progress forward despite having an injury. Um, as always, let pain be your guide and if you are feeling something that hurts when you're training, other than you know your general aches and pains, you need to get it evaluated because that's gonna help you prevent it from becoming something a lot worse. All right, that's all I got for you today. Uh, keep an eye out for that series of training around injury videos that I will start producing hopefully soon here. And uh, see you guys on the next one.